Hi guys, it's uh, what is today? This is morning. It's it's early. <laughs> I know it's early. Uh, what is today? Wednesday? Today Wednesday? You know I don't remember. Let me look back here and see what I done. Uh, I believe it is because Tuesday I done Colossians two thirteen. So uh, that's what it is. So this is Wednesday. I get this wrote out. I've uh, I put the date on there, so I remember. You know if I've done that or not. So uh, anyway, it's it's on there. I got that wrote out. <laughs> All right. I was reading, uh, going over this again in Colossians two fourteen. These references. Uh, some of these will have several in them. Uh, I mean, a several. So I've had as many as thirty some uh, references on one scripture, but. <clears throat> the neat thing on this one, on Colossians 2.14, there's only one, two, three, four references down under that. Uh, same way with Colossians 2.15. One, two, there's four references down under that. Uh, and then Colossians 2.16, is, is, uh, that, there's a lot of stuff in that, that that's pertaining to the law. Uh, to the Levitical laws is all through that. So um, I think I'm going to put together Colossians 2.14 and 2.15. We'll put those two together um, because there's there's not a whole lot to them. And they, they still, they flow together. And and uh, I think it's important that we do this, get the scriptures out and, and see them. And because and it pulls... Uh, you know, you can read a verse and it not really have that much meaning to it, but you chase references down through that. Man, this thing comes alive. All right. So uh, it's important, I think, for us to do that. So I'm going to do this here on uh, this is Wednesday morning. Uh, it's it's almost one o'clock in the morning. So I want to get this up and, and uh, get it put up. All right. So. We'll read this one and, and uh, get this. Then I'll we'll go over to the other side and do that one too. So we'll have two of them. How's that? That sounds good? All right. Oh, and one thing I want to point out. And one of these references is, is Colossians 2, verse 20. And it says, this is what it says, If then you died together with Christ from the elements of the world, why, as living in the world, are you subject to decrees? That word elements, I was writing that out today in another, uh, over here in chapter three, I'm up into chapter three writing this out. And that word stuck out to me like a sore. I mean, it was, it stuck out. I thought, what is this elements? What does it mean from, we died together with Christ from the elements of the world. What is that? And so in my mind, I got to thinking, you know, okay, so the elements of the world, and I looked in the Webster Dictionary, and elements, I, elements, and looked at it. Elements are the air, and the water, and the uh, fire, and it says all pertaining to the universe is elements. So I thought, well, that has to do with our mortal, with us being a mortal human, with, with our more. uh, our fleshly things. All this has to do with our flesh. So we died uh, together with Christ from the fleshly things of the world. So that's what I was thinking. So I looked up in the back of the uh, the concordant literal translation, back here in the key word concordance, and this re this refers to the mosaic uh, system, the, to the mosaic system especially like the circumcision you know we died to that we that's what this is referring to so that word elements that's what it means and and so i now i know when i read this that i know this is referring to the mosaic system this elements we we through christ died from that stuff so uh it means something now to me to to see that right so yeah words mean things it's neat to look them up uh and that's what i get for writing this stuff out i'll write it out and something will stick up, and I'll think, well, what does that mean? You know, we read over stuff, we read over stuff, and, and it doesn't click. But you go writing them out, and, and it, it'll come, it come alive. 
All right, so anyway, we'll get this going before I get long-winded. Uh, Colossians 2.14, and these are only out of Paul's writings uh, because uh, there was uh, uh, the risen Christ in his glorified body revealed himself to Saul or to Paul and through that left this message, left a secret that nobody else can, nobody else knows. And people can read it. And if they're, if they're not in tune with Paul's writings as God has seen fit for them to be, you know, it's all through God. God is the one that does all this. Then they won't understand it. So anyway, that's what it is. And I'll leave these references wrote down there so y'all can go back and look and, and read them for yourself and write them out. I'd encourage you to write them out. It's neat to write them out and have it in hand. All right. Dealing graciously with all our offenses, erasing the handwriting of the decrees against us, which was hostile to us, and has taken it away out of the mist, nailing it to the cross. Now, I am saying, for as much time as the enjoyer of an allotment is a minor, in nothing is he of more consequence than a slave, being master of all, but is under guardians and administrators until the time purposed by the Father. Thus we also, when we were minors, were enslaved under the elements of the world. Now when the full time came, God delegates his son, come of a woman, come under law. For he is our peace, who makes both one and rises the central wall of the barrier, the enmity in his flesh, nullifying the law of precepts and decrees, that he should be creating the two in himself into one new humanity, making peace, and should be reconciling both in one body to God through the cross. If then you died together with Christ from the elements of the world, why, as living in the world, are you subject to decrees? For the secret of lawlessness is already operating, only when the present detainer may be coming to be out of the mist. Then will be unveiled the lawless one whom the Lord Jesus will dispatch with the spirit of his mouth and will discard by the advent of his presence. <coughs> Colossians 2.15 Stripping off the sovereignties and the authorities with boldness, he makes a show of them, triumphing over them in it. Wherefore, he is saying, ascending on high, he captures uh, captivity and gives gifts to mankind. In whom the God of this eon blinds the apprehension of the unbelieving so that the illumination of the evangel of the glory of Christ who is the image of the invisible God, does not eradicate them. For it is not ours to wrestle with blood and flesh, but with the sovereignties, with the authorities, with the world mites of this darkness, with the spiritual forces of wickedness among the celestials. For in him is all created, that in the heavens and that on the earth, the visible and the invisible, whether thrones or lordships or sovereignties or authorities, all is created through him and for him, and he is before all, and all has this cohesion in him. <laughs> yeah, so that's amazing. I'll add nothing to that. <clears throat> nothing. I'll add nothing to that. So, Colossians 2.14 and 2.15. Yeah, there's a lot to that. So, this will be Thursday tomorrow. I'll get that one done, right? It's all rolled out, but we'll get that one tomorrow. Anyway, it's uh, it's been a good day. Um, yesterday was a good day. We we went down, and it was too wet to work in the garden. We tried that, and it didn't work out. Uh, I was going to put beans in and, and do some corn planting and stuff, but it was too, too wet to get in. But anyway... Uh, yeah, it's getting late or getting early. It's early in the morning. <laughs> Been a long night, a long night. But that's all right. You know, this is the, the. Uh, I just want to remind you all of who you are in Christ. 
you know, and stay focused on that which is above. Stay focused on that above. Uh, that's our that's our celestial realm. That uh, that's what we're, we're aiming for is that, and that's who where we've been called. Or that's our uh, our allotment is in the in the heavenly realm. So remember who you are in Christ, and stay focused on that, and uh, don't worry. All right. Pray. I uh, heard someone say, "Pray like it all depends on God, and work like it all depends on you." And things in life, and and it'll all work out. But I believe that uh, whatever happens is is God is allowing it, and I'm good with that. All right. So anyway, y'all get out and have an awesome day, and I will talk to you tomorrow.